Oh, hello, good morning. How are you this morning? Starting with gin, maybe a vodka, maybe a, a fizzy Prosecco to start your day. Um, or maybe you do class A drugs. Uh, whatever it is, I would, I would implore you to get something to hand, maybe a cigarette, maybe um, run yourself a bath before you consider <laughs> what I'm about to say, because I'm so angry and despairing um, and I literally could cry and I don't think it's just because I'm perimenopausal. Um, oh, that's something that happens to women. I'm not sure that we can talk about women um, because just like you can't say all lives matter, you surely can't say transgender women are women because then that's all people are women. Um, weird though, it's, it's almost like we live in a deeply sexist, misogynist environment created by people on the left unlike the sexist environment created by people on the right, which um, basically had women staying at home. Also, I'm told, uh, or to probably ask Theresa May. Anyway, Daniel Radcliffe responds to JK Rowling's tweets on gender identity. Let's pick this apart, shall we? Because it's so exciting. Um, it's so insulting and insensitive and uh, just just deaf when it comes to women that I, I'm going to try and go through it without using expletives because I want as many people to watch this as possible so I can clearly articulate to everybody just exactly what it is that is wrong with what he said. This is what Daniel says in response to JK Rowling. I realise that certain press outlets will probably want to paint this as infighting between JK Rowling and myself. <laughs> I don't know, Daniel, maybe that's because it is because you didn't need to say a damn thing. Um, but that's not really what this is about, nor is it what's important right now. What's important right now is that I throw Jo jo right under the bus, right at a time where she's getting the most vitriolic, disgusting death threats and rape threats and um, just vehemently nasty crap all over the internet. What I'm gonna do is release a public statement because that's what's important right now. Hey, Daniel, while Jo is unquestionably responsible for the course of my, the course my life has taken, Hmm. Yes, she is. As someone who's been honoured to work with and continues to contribute to the Trevor Project for the last decade, and just as a human being, I feel compelled to say something at this moment. And what I'm going to say is a load of unthinking garbage. Transgender women are women. <sighs> Any statement to the contrary erases the identity and dignity of transgender people and goes against all advice given that but given by professional healthcare associates who have far more expertise on this matter than either Joe or I. According to the Trevor Project, 78% of transgender and non-binary youth reported being the subject of discrimination due to their ident gender identity. It's clear that we need to do more to tr support transgender and non-binary people, not invalidate their identities, and not call for, cause further harm. So Daniel, let me talk to you about what transgender women are women actually does in the real world. Any place where there are female only spaces, be that girls sports, girls changing rooms, be that talking about the embarrassing nature of periods, which you can never understand. What that does is that says that women aren't special or unique enough or important enough or valid enough to actually have our own identity. What that means is, is when teenage girls go to school and or go in public toilets and they feel embarrassed and they feel vulnerable anyway because we live in that society where we have the male gaze, where we are objectified, where women, rightly or wrongly, feel incredibly vulnerable when they are alone, when they are in a state of undress. You are telling them, Daniel, that that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter at all because the most important person for you, Daniel, and let me know, you do not mention trans men because that they're female. So you, obviously you're not going to talk about trans men because you don't care about any woman whether she claims she's trans or not. So, so when you say that, it's like saying all lives matter to someone who talks about black lives matter. It basically says that what you are, your identity, what your material biological fact is, it's not important. It's not important that girls suffer FGM because transgender women are women. It's not important that women are subjected to insane levels of domestic violence and two a week are killed in this country. It doesn't matter because transgender women are women. 
It doesn't matter that women feel vulnerable and when they are subjected to sexual violence and need a place that's female only to recover and heal, it doesn't matter about them because transgender women are women. When women go in hospital and they want and they feel vulnerable and they are trying to get well after surgeries or long spell illness, and they want female only space because their dignity and privacy is so utterly important. It doesn't matter to you, Daniel, because transgender women are women. When a woman elderly and living in her own home wants somebody to come and care for her because she doesn't have any family who can do it. And so she, she relies on the state or some private enterprise to come to her house and help her and take care of her where she's vulnerable in her own home. It doesn't matter, Daniel, because transgender women are women. That's what you do when you unravel this crap, when you decide that you can mutilate and butcher our language and anyone can be a woman. That is what you do. You basically take any space, any time, any place that women want the dignity and privacy of female only space. You take that away from us. You take away our language and you take away our, away our rights. And you would never say all lives matter. You would never say that. You would say that somebody was saying that was racist because it, it's enough to talk about black lives because they are subjected to a particular sort of pathway, according to the Black Lives Movement. Uh, they are subjected to a particular pathway in this world on the basis of their skin color. And you cannot recognize that with our biology. You cannot recognize that most of the world's unpaid labor and I'm not talking about women doing housework in the UK because I really don't care about stuff like that. I'm talking about globally. I'm talking about little girls in India can't go to the toilet at night because they might be raped or murdered. And that is not because woman is some special, unquantifiable gender. It's because women, being a woman is a biological fact. Going through menstruation is a biological fact. Having babies, worrying about pregnancy, worrying about not being pregnant, being pregnant. Am I fertile? Am I not fertile? Can I, am I going through the perimenopause? Am I going through the menopause? Am I going to be a different person after I've gone through these huge hormonal changes and shifts that happen to women only? That's what this is. How dare you? How dare you say that transgender women are women? How dare you say that men are women? That anybody that says that they're a woman is a woman? How dare you? I'm so annoyed. And because n n nobody's talking about it, Ricky Gervais, I know that you know that trans women are not women. I know that you know that. I know that Hollywood stars know it. I know that our female politicians know it. I know that our prime minister knows it. Jesus, Jesus Christ. This is not good enough. Let me go on with this asshole. I'm still learning how to be a better ally. Yeah, not to women, Daniel. So if you want to join me in learning more about transgender and non-binary non identities, check out the Trevor Project Guide to Being an Ally. No, I won't. Guide to mutilating. Look, transgender women are women. This whole thing for, <sighs> sterilizes children. It's why 12-year-old girls in America have their breasts cut off, because they feel non-binary, because breasts somehow have become such objectified public property that girls think if they remove them, they escape it. <sighs> it's an introductory educational resource that covers a wide range of topics, including the differences between sex and gender and shares best practices on how to support transgender and non-binary people. Some hospitals in America on a daily basis remove the breasts of, of dozens of girls in their teenage years, dozens, because of messages like trans women are women. To all the people who now feel that their experience of the books has been tarnished or diminished, I'm deeply sorry for the pain these comments have caused you. Well, by recognizing women, Daniel, she didn't, even, she didn't even say trans women are not women. She just said women are women. Can we name women? That's all she asked for. Can we name women? Woman, adult, human, female. Can we name them, Daniel? No, we can't. Not in your world. I really hope you don't lose what's valuable in these stories to you. If these books taught you that love is the strongest force, I can't even be, I can't, I can't, I can't. All of this only works if women aren't human, right? 
All of this only works if Daniel's never thought that a woman talking about her privacy and dignity and her identity to be seen as human, it only works if, if, if these people don't see it. It only works if women are not seen as human. That's the only way this can work. The only way trans women and women can work in 2020 is if you say that women don't know enough about, about what women are, if women are just nothing, if what our stories are and what our pain and suffering and what our rape stories and our sexual assault stories and our objectified stories and the fact that most of us have an experience where a grown man says something really disgusting to us in our teenage years, trans women and women only make sense in the world if you don't care about the words of women. That's, that's it. And the women that go along with it, like Jamelia, Jamil and all those people, there's something so overwhelmingly dogmatic and religious about the trans women and women kind of um, movement that I can only think that these are the same women that would be telling um, the suffragettes that women don't really need the vote. I just want everyone to know that if you're not speaking up for women now, if you can see what's happening, then you're complicit in what's happening to women throughout the globe. It's you. And when we all wake from this nonsense, I will remember who you are. We all will. Um, anyway, I'm so, I'm so angry. So I implore anybody who knows that women are women and that it means something, I implore you now, you've got to speak up, otherwise we're fucked.